हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट नाउ व्हाट आर द कॉजेस ऑफ डिस्फेजिया ल्यूसोरिया राइट So first of before that, what is dysphagia lucoria? Dysphagia lucoria is there is some congenital anomaly mainly related to the vascular system. So there is vascular anatomy anomalies are present which will result in disorders of swallowing. There are vascular anomalies which will result in disorders of swallowing is seen in dysphagia lucoria. okay in this phagia lucoria the vascular anomalies are of many types but important ones if you see uh, there is there can be a vascular ring or pulmonary slings can occur these vascular rings and pulmonary slings are developmental anomalies of the great vessels and whenever these occur these will cause compression of the esophagus resulting in the dysphagia lucoria this is first Right. Then other causes can be there can be anomalous right aortic arch. This anomalous right aortic arch with a ligament left ligamentum arteriosum can occur. Anomalous right aortic arch with left uh, ligamentum arteriosus arteriosum along with the retroesophageal left subclavian artery. so here there is an anomalous right aortic arch is not proper there is left ligamentum arteriosum is still present there is left subclavian artery is present retroesophageal that is it is present behind the esophagus so all of this will result in a complete ring okay because all of this will result in complete ring so this complete ring will compress the esophagus and cause posterior esophageal compression okay then right in pulmonary arterial sling has already said pulmonary arterial slings will also cause compression of the esophagus this pulmonary arterial sling actually arises from the in pulmonary arterial sling sling the left pulmonary artery arises from the right pulmonary artery actually the pulmonary trunk should form two pulmonary arteries left and the right but in this case in pulmonary art actually this is right and this is left sorry the pulmonary artery right and left pulmonary artery should arise from pulmonary trunk but in pulmonary arterial sling there is a left pulmonary artery this is the left one from this the right pulmonary artery will arise and it forms a sling like ring like structure which compresses the esophagus but what is most common anomaly most common anomaly is the subclavian artery in the most common anomaly is actually a right subclavian artery which is ascending from which is arising from the descending aorta and it travels behind the esophagus causing compression of the esophagus it travels behind the esophagus resulting in posterior compression of the esophagus so this is the most common anomaly here right subclavian artery arising from the descending aorta and it causes compression of the esophagus so this is the main uh, causative agent for um, dysphagia lucoria thank you and thank you for watching